Hello, everyone. It is Saturday. Oh, no. Let's let him stay. November 24th in the year of our Lord 2012. How are no. you doing out there? No, yes. I am doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome. And enjoying the weekend. Absolutely loving it. Folks, we got to bring out the anthem. And we got to bring out today's special uh, sponsor of the show. And that is going to be Mustang. Hi. Hey, it is my Delilah. Hey, baby. Hey, I got something to show you. Delilah's got something to show us. I got new boots. Come over this way. She got new boots. Yeehaw! She got riding boots, baby. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go horseback riding. Pink cowboy boots. Pink cowgirl boots. I'm going to go horseback riding. That's right. She sure is. You want to give a couple quick shots? I know you're eating pizza right now. What is her princess Saskia? Because today is her birthday. That's right. Princess Saskia. A real princess like Delilah. And guess what? That's why I'm the king. I'm also going to give one to, to Allie. And not just for any apparent reason. Because of... Because... Um, this, um, um, Nina post, posted something on Facebook. Yep. That, that Allie was like, Mommy, look! It's the, the beer show's on! That's right. My niece, Allie, a big shout out to you, because you told mommy, hey, the beer show's on, and there's a picture of you watching daddy's show, or uncle daddy, uncle daddy, this ain't West Virginia, um, uncle Josh's uh, show, or Jaws, you like to call me, but anyway, so the unofficial sponsor of the show today is Mustang Brewing yeah, Company out of Oklahoma City, and Oklahoma, and otherwise known as Southern Kansas. What's up? I'm going to go and eat some pizza now. Go eat the pizza. All right. But anyway, um, Mustang Brewing Company, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, phenomenal beer by phenomenal folks. They watch my show. I support their show, their uh, beer, and uh, phenomenal stuff. I've had Washita weed a couple times. Absolutely amazing stuff. Great folks. And uh, Mustang Brewing Company. Check it out, folks. You will not be disappointed. Yes, they have a Facebook page, too. With that said, let's get to the beer of the day, shall we? Oh, yes. We're going big. I couldn't sleep last night. So this will knock my ass out, hopefully. Old Masputin Imperial Russian Stout. Doesn't get much bigger than this. Fort Bragg, California. 9% of absolute badassness. Yes, sir. So a great stout beer like that, you need a good stout mug. And that we have. Probably be opening apparatus. There we go. A good pop from my man Justin Dimmitt, who I know is watching in jolly old Germany. And Justin, a big shout out to your better half, Robin. She took an awesome picture of you and your dog Lucky watching the show last night. Robin, feel free to add me as a friend on Facebook because a friend... <laughs> The better half of Justin is definitely a friend of mine, no doubt about it. Hell, if my beloved Farah and you can live with Justin and I, anything's possible. So, cheers and beers to all of you. Prost, as they say in Germany. Kampai, as they say in Japan. Mm. Whoa, I always forget how strong that beer really is. That stuff is amazing. Wow. All right, folks, before we get to the birthdays, we have to give a moment of silence for the late, great Larry Hagman, most famous as J.I. Ewing on that famous TV show that I never watched, Dallas. Cheers and beers and rest in peace, Larry Hagman. 81 years old, passed away from, of complications from cancer. He had cancer in the mid to late 90s, and uh, also, the, uh, there was something else he had too. But, uh, oh yeah, cirrhosis of the liver. Ooh, that's a brutal way to go. Used to be a heavy drinker, but somehow he survived that. But now he passed away at 81 years old, though, so not a, not a short life. Thankfully. But still, it's never long enough. But with that said, let's get to the birthday shout-out, shall we? Now, my beloved Princess Delilah gave a milestone happy birthday shout-out to a real princess, Princess Saskia Kinsler, the better half of my good friend Danny Kinsler. Shout-out to you, big man, and you better treat the princess right. Spoil that woman, brother. Spoiler, she deserves it. Saskia, happy birthday to you, my dear, and uh, it looks like you're doing well. 
partying it up. Absolutely love it. I missed the hell out of you. Now, see, I had a distinct pleasure of performing Danny and Saskia's wedding in jolly old England. And I worked with him in jolly old England. Crew dog! BMF crew dog, I might add. A goofy son bitch, but I love the guy. No homo. No, Saskia, I'm not going to steal the man, okay? That's not my style. I love women. And no, I'm not going to steal you, Saskia. You got a good man, and I got a goddess. I'm married to a queen. The greatest woman in the world. But Saskia, you're a total sweetheart, and it's always a pleasure and an honor chatting with you. And uh, true friends for life, and a big milestone. Happy birthday to you. The perfect age. 25 woman alive. Because now you can rent a car. I know you can in England anyway. Your insurance goes down. You can still buy um, alcohol, um, adult beverages. All the good stuff. You don't get to look forward to another birthday until 2042 when you get out those uh, 55 and over senior citizen discounts at IHOP, Denny's, and places like that. But Saskia, my dear, a big cheers and beers to you. And you have a wicked awesome day. Party hard and enjoy. She's also a daily viewer of this here show. Next on the list. Now, here's a lovely lady from the great island of Martha's Vineyard. Known her all her life, pretty much. And I hope I pronounced your last name right. Erica uh, Lazo. Lazo. L-O-Z-E-A-U. Lazo. Sounds cool, doesn't it? Damn right. But Erica, always a pleasure chatting with you. And we're always talking about the different food that we're eating. Of course, you're cooking it. I'm not. My wife's always cooking the food in our family. But we love talking about the different food we love so much. And boy, it, it's great to eat, isn't it? Heck yeah. The key to active metabolism is to keep it working. And that's what we do. And that's why we're that's why we're thin and uh, not too skinny, thankfully. But uh, we're well fed, aren't we? But Erica, my dear, you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Party it up. Celebrate like it's 1969 minus the acid. And hope you enjoy the show. Next on the list. A gap god I worked with in jolly old England. A great man indeed, my man. Brian Curtis. Happy birthday you, brother. Hope you're doing well. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you're moving from uh, North Dakota, aren't you? I'm just trying to remember where you're moving to. I want to say you're moving to uh, Okinawa, but I may be wrong on that. Or you already did. I don't know. I can't remember. But Brian, my man. And a shout-out to your better half, Danielle, as well. Hope you guys are doing well. It looks like you are. It was a pleasure and honor working with you in jolly old England. A great man, indeed. A smart SOB. And, brother, you have a wicked awesome day. Cheers and beers to you. And uh, I want to play some Texas Hold'em with you again sometime. I, I do miss it. Big time. Next on the list. The lovely Ashley Cushing. Happy birthday to you, my dear. And she's the better half of my good friend Casey Cushing. A bubble-chasing badass I worked with in jolly old England. I remember them brand-new kids. And uh, now they're seasoned veterans. Still young, though. Very young. But uh, Ashley, total sweetheart. Always cool. Awesome. Great mommy, too. And Casey, a great man indeed. Hard worker. And a man who just told it like it was. And I appreciate that. Honesty is the best policy, brother. Tell it like it is. And they're from Montana. And uh, the home of Big Sky Brewing Company. The home of Moose Drool. One of my personal favorite beers. Awesome stuff. Casey, my man, spoil your woman well. She deserves it. Ashley, happy birthday to you. Hope you guys have a wicked awesome day. Party hard and enjoy. Next on the list. My man, Josh Windham. A spike chasing badass I work with here in Yeehaw, Texas. Where men and the bulls run scared. That's right. Texas is like a whole other country. Good. They can go become from their own country if they want to. Just known as Southern Oklahoma anyway, right? Damn right. But Josh, my man. Dude. You're the same age as Cush as uh, Ashley Cushing, by the way. My good friend in jolly old England. So you two were born the same month, day, and year. How cool is that? Wicked cool. Josh, I'm giving a shout out to your better half, Jennifer. A total sweetheart indeed. And I know she watches my show all the time. And uh, I hear from her more than you, you nimrod. At least on the old Facebook I do. All right, I hear from you at work, I know. <laughs> but Josh, hope you have a wicked awesome day. Looks like you're going to. And uh, I, I know Jennifer's going to spoil you. And don't forget, folks, support the Ab Abilene Derby Dames, okay? 
Because that is a roller hockey team that my beloved friend Jennifer plays for. So we got to support them well. I Abilene Derby Dames. Yeah. Uh, nothing like nothing like roller hockey. You know, roller, roller derby. Women beating the shit out of each other. How cool is that? I love it. I do love that. Maybe I'm a sicko, but I like that stuff. So, come on. Most of you men out there love it, too. Don't lie. And even some of you women like that, too. You love watching two ladies just beat the crap out of each other. Because cat fights are the best. No doubt about it. Cheers and beers to you there. Josh, you have a wicked awesome day, brother. <clears throat> Squeeze me. Next on the list. The lovely Angie Del Toro. Now, here's a lady I've known for over 30 years. She was a year above me in, in uh, elementary school, high school. She's from Virginia, Massachusetts, the greatest town in the world, where I'm from as well. And uh, Angie, always a pleasure chatting with you. A great lady indeed. And a lady that ain't afraid to tell like it is either. And I love that. Honesty, folks. That's true friends right there. When you're honest and tell like it is, good or bad, hey. And Angie's definitely good for that. She is totally awesome. And uh, Angie, I missed the hell out of you, girl. And I hope you're having a wicked awesome day. Party hard and enjoy a big cheers and beers to you. And uh, hope to hear from you soon. Hope you enjoy the show. Mm. Next on the list. The final birthday of the day. The Honorable uh, Judith Ramker. Judith Wolf Ramker. Now here's a lady I have yet to meet in person. But like me, she's a fellow Mafia Wars player. And she's ultra cool. And happy birthday to you, Judith. Hope you hope you enjoy the show. And uh, it's a lot of fun whacking the crap out of people getting all that pent-up aggression out, isn't it? You know it is. In Farmville, I, I miss those days. But my computer's worthless as the brain cells of an avid Yankee fan. And ultra slow. So I don't get to play that anymore. Day 48 hours in a day, I might be able to. But uh, you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy, my friend. And cheers and beers to you. And we got one more shout out. Birthdays are done. And this one goes to my lovely niece, Allie. Allie Boogs McCutie. Allie Hebrard. And I'm giving a shout out to your awesome parents. And that would be Robbie and his better half, Kaza. Purdy Kaza. You guys are phenomenal. I love you guys. Allie, I love you, and your little brother Tyson, as we like to call him, Chicken Nugget. Why not? Because you know that was that was uh, Nina's nickname for him. That's right, Chicken Nugget. Tyson J. Hebrard. Tyson, Chicken Nugget. Get it? It's just so cool, especially when he was a fetus. But uh, Allie, I love you, girl, and Delilah loves you. We all love you, and I just want to give you a big, big, big shout out. And a big old hug. And thank you for watching each and every day. And knowing that just makes your Nino or your uncle happy. Wicked happy. But Allie, Ja loves you. And I miss you. And I can't wait to see you again soon. Always smiling. The lovely Allie. And she's not a picky either. She'll eat anything. And I love that. I wish, I wish your cousin Delilah was like that. But she's the pickiest eater in the world. So Allie, I cheers to you. And I salute you for being the most wicked awesome niece in the world. Well, I got another awesome one too. My my awesome niece Alyssa. Boy, that's that's it's tough. You can't pick a favorite. You can't do that. I love them. I love all my nieces and nephews equally. But Allie, you're a total sweetie. You really are. So cheers. Alrighty. Let's get to the celebrity birthdays. On this day in nineteen fifty seven, supplied by my good friend Justin Dimmitt. Denise Crosby, who played Lieutenant N Natasha Yar on the first season of Star Trek, The Next Generation. How about this guy? He's 65 today. Dwight Schultz. Now, I remember him as Murdoch, that crazy fool in the, one of the greatest shows ever, A-Team. The A-Team. Awesome show, man. George Papard, Mr. T, um, Dirk Benedict, his face, and then, of course, we had... Dwight Schultz. Murdoch, the crazy fool. I pity the fool. Ah, uh, he's 65 today. But I did not know this. Ugh. Squeeze me. But he played Lieutenant Reginald uh, Berkeley. 
Berkeley in uh, Star Trek The Next Generation and Voyager, Star Trek Voyager. How about that? <coughs> this chick's 34 today and gorgeous. We've been talking about Katherine Heigl. Yeah, the woman with the rack. Now, I actually looked up bra sizes. And supposedly, I saw one site that said 34C. No way. The other one said 36D as in delicious. And that's more like it. Or damn, 36, damn. And they are biggins. She's 34, and I've been drooling over her for about 15 years. Wow. How about Dale Carnegie? Born on this day in 1888, passed away in 1955. Now, he's most famous for the 1936 book, How to Win Fl Friends and Influence People. The guy was a motivationalist, leading to success, financial success, feeling good about yourself. Positive people like that, I salute, folks. Dale Carnegie, if you haven't read How to Win Friends and Influence People, you need to. Definitely a positive, motivational book, no doubt about it. And I've read it, and uh, it helped me make, the, make me the better person that I am today. Now, here's a guy that you don't want to be like. On his day in 1897, he was born, passed away in 1962. Charles Lucky Luciano, mafia boss. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah, hey, I love the mafia. Honestly, I do. I love what they represent. They're all about tight-knit family, stuff like that. But Lucky Luciano, whoo, wouldn't mess with that dude. Uh -uh. On his day in 1784, passed away in, in 1850 at the age of 65. That would be the 12th president of the United States of America, Zachary Taylor. He would be 228 years old today. How about Dave Bing, 69 years old today. Retired number 21 Pistons. Detroit Pistons basketball player, one of the 50 greatest players in NBA history, Dave Bing. How about also another one of the top 50 players of all time, Oscar Robertson, 74 years old today. And by the way, he's the only player to average a triple-double for an entire season. Holy shit! That's a, some seriously kick-ass basketball. That's a complete player right there. Double du A triple-double for an entire season. Most people you hear about, oh, they got a triple-double. Wow! This guy averaged that for an entire season. That is incredible. Ah, the guy, the composer of Maple, Maple Leaf Rag in 1899 and the entertainer in 1902. A legend indeed. Born on this day in 1868. That would be one Scott Joplin who passed away in 1917 at the age of 48 in an institution of all things. But uh, African American uh, composer, definitely a trendsetter, definitely one that broke a lot of barriers. Some people didn't even know he was black. But yes, he was and still is. Well, he passed away, so he's bones now. But he put out a lot of great music from 1895 all the way up until about 1912. On this day, 1950, Air Force One had their, the first Air Force One ever presidential airplane was christened. How about that? On this day in 1874, Joseph F. Glidden patented barbed wire. Now, there's an invention we can all appreciate. Here's one I appreciate personally, and I think a lot of you do as well, especially those who believe in the right to bear arms. On this day in 1871, the National Rifle Association was organized in New York City. A big cheers and beers to that, no doubt. On this day in 1995, this one blew my mind. I didn't know about this. Ireland voted to end a 70-year ban on divorce. And the vote tally was 50.28% to 49.72%. I mean, it barely won, but it won. So apparently from 1925 to 1995, you couldn't get a divorce in Ireland? Are you freaking kidding me? Now, I mean, I'm not an endorser of divorce, but damn, sometimes it's got to happen. You know, if it ain't meant to happen, it ain't meant to happen. As long as you can have an amicable one and be friends to this day, like I am with my ex-wife, Joanne. Awesome lady. It just didn't pan out for us. But we're still good friends to this day. So Sometimes it ain't meant to happen, okay? Wow. On this day in 1993, the Brady Bill. Remember uh, James Brady that was shot during the uh, March 30th, 1981, when John Hinckley Jr. tried to assassinate Ronald Reagan and Press Secretary James Brady was shot, permanent brain damage. Well, the Brady Bill passed 
establishing a five-day waiting period for handgun sales. And I'm cool with that. Got to verify that your credentials are good. Nothing wrong with that. We wouldn't want bad people having guns. But I'm all for the average good American citizen having the right to bear arms. I am all for that. I truly believe in the right to bear arms. But I just don't want schmucks bearing them. No thank you. On this day in 1966, the first television station in Congo happened. Kinshasa Zaire. That's right. The capital of Zaire, formerly known as the Congo. First TV station. November 24th, 1966. On this day in 1963, and people talk about this one to this day, 49 years ago, the first live murder on television happened. Remember hearing about Jack Ruby shooting Lee Harvey Oswald, the assassin of uh, JFK, a couple days prior? Yep, it happened right in the courtroom. Bam! Shot his ass dead. Can't say I blame him. On his day in 1960, Will Chamberlain had 55 rebounds in one single basketball game. An NBA record. Wow! On his day in 1896, the first absentee voting law was enacted by Vermont. And there's your absentee ballots, folks, especially you military folks out there. Very important stuff. Always vote, no matter what. Okay? And finally on this day in 1805, Lewis and Clark reached the Pacific Ocean. The Oregon Trail. It happened. And that's a great game, by the way. I love that game. So with that said, we need to get to the movie of the day. And if you don't like this one, shame on you. My wife doesn't like it. Shame on her. I love her to death, but... I don't know what she's thinking. From 1990. How about Macaulay Culkin and the original Home Alone? There's Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern as the two bad guys. This movie was freaking hilarious. A good Christmas movie indeed. Music by John Williams. Famous for Star Wars. Um, John Hurd was in the movie as well. Catherine O'Hara. They were the parents. And uh, even Kieran Culkin, Macaulay's younger brother. The, he was a kid with the glasses in the movie. Um, great movie, folks. Absolutely hilarious. Um, basically, Kevin McAllister, played by Macaulay Culkin, becomes the man of the house overnight, left behind when his family rushes off to Christmas vacation, gets busy decorating the house for the holidays, but he's not decking the halls with Tinsel and Holly. Two bumbling burglars are trying to break in, and Kevin's rigging a bewildering battery of booby traps to welcome them. This one is awesome. Definitely a great movie indeed. 103 minutes of great, hilarious family entertainment. I love this movie, and it's never gotten old. Hard to believe it's 22 years old now, because I remember when it came out. Wow, I feel old. Home Alone, great movie indeed. But with that said, let's get to, oh, the song of the day. This one's a long one, but it's a good one. Hey, because I got the babe of the day. Birthday girl. She's 34 today. <laughs> you knew I had to do it. Catherine Heigl, babe of the day. Had to be done. <laughs> Gorgeous, and it sounds like my wife is home. That's okay. I'm going to keep recording. But this song is called Jumping at the Green Mill by the Mighty Blue Kings. And believe it or not, it's from 1995. This is a true ode to that 40s, 50s, wild um, swing sound, rhythm and blues sound. This song is totally wicked awesome. Enjoy it. And we will slide the show of Katherine Heigl. Thunderous. This is a song that does not sound like it's from 1995. Oh, good lord. There's a reason why I've had to crush on this chick for years. Dark red bra. Reverend Dr. B loves that. This is a perfect Saturday Night Special song right here. So gorgeous. Well, we can stay on 
What an instrumental break that was, huh? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. That shit was awesome. Wicked awesome. I was in my favorite color. Actually, I prefer maroon myself. Machine Purdy? I don't know what it is, folks. Little guitar riff this time. Wear me out. Four minutes of pure raw energy. You know what I like about this girl? She's not anorexic either. <laughs> I, just, I get bad thoughts when I see that picture. Hard to believe she's 34 now. Isn't it? What the hell? guys like this song as much oh my goodness nipples covered can't get in trouble for that one <laughs> love it love it love it stunningly gorgeous and classy yeah oh boy <laughs> I get bad thoughts on that one do you <laughs> Ah, uh, one more. Hmm, yeah, a little bit better that one. Yeah. Mm. There you go. One more for good measure. Ah, there you go, my friends. Oh, I lied. Can't get enough of this one, can you? I know I can't. And my favorite color. Yeah, folks. You know what time it is, right? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. Folks, it's time to make like a fetus and head out. So everybody take care. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink a drive my spray. You drink or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking a drive is dumber than the next spin. And what's dumber than that is root for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli. Oh, I'm as good as Tom Brady. Manning or men slapping women or racism. Things like that are just plain stupid. And Eli Manning, I give you a big GFY just because you're a schmuck. Folks, don't forget Eli and Tom Brady, uh, Eli, Peyton, and their daddy, Archie Manning, three Super Bowl rings. Tom Brady by himself, three Super Bowl rings. He's as good as the entire Manning family. There you go. I'm out of here. See you all tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.